so different different mode of occurrences can be uh, of bhen type or this can be of massive type okay so i'm going to say one by one so what is bhen type what is a bhen so all of you know it is an intrusive bhen is an intrusive it can be either filling a fissure or fracture or any weak plane right so an ore deposit which is filling a pre existing fissure or fracture of a host rock okay and the mineral concentration is there so that is your bhen type so which type of ores uh, or what are the example of bhen type ores like gold then iron ore gold is uh, gold can occur as bhen gold can occur as other modes also yes one type of ore can occur in different modes it is not necessary that it will occur in only one mode right gold can occur as bhen type siderite it is your iron ore pyrite is also iron ore so these are also uh, can occur as bhen type deposit okay then massive deposit massive deposit means large extent right massive deposit means is a large extent like uh, chalcopyrite different sulfide ores generally they are uh, they are present as they occur as massive type ore deposit okay like chalcopyrite galena okay and cinnabar these are all sulfides right chalcopyrite i have already told is copper ore galena it is lead sulfide so lead ore cinnabar is your mercury sulfide it is your mercury ore right galena is lead chalcopyrite is copper okay siderite and uh, pyrite these are iron ores okay then yes then stratiform and strata bound type deposit so most people uh, mostly people get confused between stratiform and strata bound so what are the difference between stratiform and strata bound so stratiform is nothing but strata like form you can uh, differentiate uh, you can uh, what uh, explain like this stratiform right strata like form that means layered concordant deposit layered or concordant deposits like this okay so here it is the ore body here it is the ore body so it is concordant to the host rock or it is layered okay it looks like it is deposited as sedimentary layer okay stratiform means it looks like that may be magmatic origin that origin can be anything but it looks like a sedimentary layer okay that means it is concordant or it is layer deposit okay that is named as stratiform example is chromite chromite is occurring as stratiform deposit okay then strata bound deposit strata bound deposit is it is restricted to a particular stratigraphic sequence it is restricted to a particular stratigraphic sequence that means it should be uh, bounded by suppose this example what i am showing this this diagram it is both stratiform and strata bound it is both stratiform and strata bound you can see it is layered so it is stratiform and it is strata bound because it is restricted to this stratigraphic sequence it is bounded by an overlying and underlying strata right it is bounded by some stratigraphic sequences it is restricted to one particular stratigraphic sequence that is your strata bound so all stratiform deposits all stratiform deposits are strata bound deposits but all strata bound deposits are not stratiform deposits may or may not be stratiform deposits okay all stratiform deposits stratiform means what you can see this form word that means it is appearing as layer it is appearing as strata so all layered stratiform deposits they are strata bound they are bound to a stratic stratigraphic sequence they are restricted to stratigraphic sequence but all the ore deposits all the mineral deposits which are restricted to stratigraphic sequence which are restricted to particular stratigraphic sequence 
they may or may not take the form of a layer okay all the ore deposits all the mineral deposits which are bounded by stratigraphic sequence which are bounded by different stratigraphic layers they may not be deposited as layers they may not be deposited as stratiform but all the deposits which are layer deposits which are concordant deposits which are stratiform deposits they are always bounded by particular stratigraphic sequence so all stratiform deposits are strata bound but all strata bound deposits are not stratiform okay then tabular type ore deposits so tabular means all of you know they are uh, like two dimensional its one dimension is narrower than other right like this its one dimension is narrower than other okay its one dimension is narrow in one dimension as compared to the other two dimension okay so we generally use these terms like seams reefs lodes we generally use these terms in uh, different mines if you visit they are uh, saying like this uh, a, uh, like ore load is there at this much depth then at this much depth we are finding three loads we are finding three seams like that so generally if you see seams we use it as we use it in case of coal deposits different coal deposits or different coal loads in coal mine in coal mining you can uh, if you have visited any coal mining they might be using this terms like uh, there are three coal loads or there are three coal seams at this much depth this 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 depth like that okay so these are tabular type deposits then placer type deposit placer is nothing but it is deposited by sedimentary process by sedimentary process suppose there is a host rock this is a host rock right from this this host rock is having some concentration of economic mineral some valuable mineral okay this economic mineral they get eroded from here and then transported and deposited somewhere and the concentration here becomes higher the concentration concentration means see if uh, from here these are eroded right from here these are eroded from this this is the host rock from the host rock these are eroded then transported and deposited their concentration rises here that means but the other like the uh, host rock fragments or the waste rock fragments like we can uh, say that yes the host rock minerals which are least resistant to erosion the host rock minerals which are least resistant to erosion they might be getting eroded and uh, uh, like they might be getting eroded earlier or they might they might not, they might not reach this place right while transportation the host rock materials or host rock minerals as they are least resistant to weathering and erosion they might not reach to form deposition here but the economic minerals the economic deposits concentrated here in the host rock they are transported and uh, transported to long distance and deposited here to form rich concentration of that economic mineral or a rich deposit or a deposit with rich concentration of that economic mineral so this is known as placer this is known as placer this is accumulation of economic minerals by sedimentary process so generally erosion transportation and then deposition okay so what are the type of placer deposit gold i have told you gold can occur as placer here i have told gold can occur as vein type deposit okay zircon rutile monazite sillimanite these are all can uh, deposited as placer deposit platinum group of elements this is written as pg platinum group of elements they can also occur as placer deposit okay then stock works stock works 
stockwork type deposit they are nothing but this is complex system of structurally controlled sorry this this is uh, mistyped here so complex system of structurally controlled or randomly oriented veins okay complex system of structurally controlled or randomly oriented veins that means number of veins they are like this uh, let me erase so like like this okay so random network of vein random network of vein these are called stock work these are called stock work deposit right complex system of structurally controlled or that can be randomly oriented vein they are also preferred as uh, referred as stringer zones they are also named as stringer zones these stock work veins or these stock work structures of uh, ore deposits they are also named as stringer zones 